Hey everyone, how's it going? Chris from Blu-ray Critic and on today's update we're going to take a look at the 4K Ultra HD releases of the Hunger Game films and this is a fantastic treat for those that have the regular Blu-ray editions and you want to upgrade to the 4K now you can and I can assure you the picture quality looks absolutely outstanding for the 4K releases and of course uh, you get the regular Blu-ray edition and digital HD is also included so let me show you the uh, artwork and of course the third film which is split on two parts but uh, yeah, the regular Blu-ray edition looked great for what it was, and uh, I'm going to rate that a 4.5 out of a 5 for the uh, picture quality. And all four films contains the uh, Dolby 7.1 audio mix, which is absolutely outstanding. But in terms of the 4K release, the uh, black levels just look a lot blacker, sharper, just an overall really crisp image, and... Uh, just really brings the film to life in 4K. So I'm going to rate the uh, 4K uh, releases a solid uh, 5 out of a 5 in terms of picture and audio mix. So uh, so yeah, so let's take a look at some of the bonus content that's uh, available for these uh, films. So disc 1 of the first film is of course the 4K edition which also houses all the great uh, you know, special features such as the audio commentaries, also the making of featurettes and all that good stuff. And uh, disc 2 is only the uh, movie itself for the regular Blu-ray edition. There are no bonus content available on that disc. And all four films are presented in the aspect ratio of 2 by 40. And for the second film, Catching Fire, the uh, special features are split on both discs. Of course, uh, the first one houses the audio commentary with the director and producer. And uh, disc 2, the regular Blu-ray edition, houses the uh, making of featurette, uh, documentary, and deleted scenes and all that good stuff. And for Mocking J Part 1, Disc 1 is the, of course, 4K with the audio commentary and also a great making of documentary. You also get a great featurette called Straight from the Heart, which is a tribute to Philip Seymour Hoffman. And for Disc 2, for the regular Blu-ray edition, you get uh, Songs of Rebellion, also a, a music video and deleted scenes. And for the fourth and final film, Mocking J Part 2, you get over 5 hours of bonus content in which on Disc 1, for the 4K disc, you get uh, Making of the Hunger Games, plus an 8-part documentary with an in-depth look at the film and, you know, post-production, visual effects, and all that great stuff. And on Disc 2, for the regular Blu-ray edition, you get the uh, Photography Journey, Audio Commentary, Jet to the Set, which is a Blu-ray-only uh, featurette, also Panama on Display, The Hunger Games, The Exhibition, pretty cool stuff. And here's a shot of the images on the back of the slipcover. Very nice. And, uh, yeah, if you're still thinking about 4K, it's definitely worth picking it up for, uh, you know, films like this to really appreciate uh, what 4K has to offer with that uh, HDR high dynamic range. And I would suggest getting a TV at least 55 inches or bigger to really appreciate 4K. Otherwise, it's really unnecessary. You're not going to tell much of a difference, anything smaller than 55 inches. Just in my opinion on that. And uh, I because I've seen it from... Uh, you know various uh, showrooms that I went to and of course uh, my TV is pretty big it's a uh, 65 inch so I could definitely uh, see the huge amount of difference versus the regular blu-ray edition and here's a shot of all the discs very cool and I like how there's artwork not just the title slapped on there nicely done we got mocking J part 2 and part 1 and of course HD codes are included as well and here's a shot of all the uh, spines for the films. But uh, yeah, really fun action-adventure flicks. And I'm going to put the link down below for those folks that are interested to uh, pick up this uh, 4K edition. But uh, yeah, really great uh, movies with Jennifer Lawrence. Thanks for taking a look at my review, and I'll see you guys soon in my next update. Take care.